Debbie Anderson here today. I'm here to help you on your path to healing in these very difficult times. And I'm doing this video to help you with science, spirituality, and education. So today I'm here to talk with you about how to reduce your stress with positive thinking. Now, stick with me. I know a lot of people are thinking that's ridiculous and that won't help, but bear with me because it's actually been proven that positive thinking does help us and it helps us in ways that you probably don't even know. So positive thinking helps you with stress management and it will even improve your health. Are you a kind of half full person or are you the half empty kind of person? How you answer this age old question about positive thinking may be a reflection on how you perceive life, whether you're pessimistic or optimistic, how you feel about yourself and this can affect your health even. There is plenty of research that shows that personality traits such as how pessimistic or op optimistic you are can affect many areas of your well-being and health. Positive thinking that normally comes with optimism is a key part of effective stress management. This effective stress management is associated with many health benefits. If you think you are more pessimistic than op optimistic, don't worry. You can easily learn positive thinking skills. Understanding self-talk and positive thinking. So, some people believe that positive thinking means that you keep your head in the sand and ignore life's unpleasant situations. What positive thinking really means is that you approach unpleasantness more productively and positively. You believe the best is going to happen, not the worst. It's as simple as that. Positive thinking make, begins with self-talk. Self-talk, that aimless stream of unpleasant, unspoken thoughts, although they can be pleasant, that run through our heads. These automatic thoughts can be negative, as I said, or positive. Some of our self-talk comes from logic and reason, and often our self-talk can come from misconceptions that we create because of lack of information. If the thoughts that are running through our heads are mostly negative, our outlook on life will mostly be pessimistic. If our thoughts are mostly positive, we're likely to have an optimistic outlook someone who uses positive thinking. Positive thinking has very many health benefits. Some of these are and include better physical and psychological well-being, greater resistance to colds, lower levels of distress, an increased lifespan, lower rates of depression, better heart health, cardiovascular health, and reduce risk of death from cardiovascular disease, better coping skills during times of stress and hardships. Let me repeat that one. Better coping skills during times of stress and hardships. No one knows why people who use positive thinking experience these health benefits, but they do. One theory is that having a positive outlook helps us cope better with stressful situations, which reduces the harmful effects of stress on our bodies. It also, it's also thought that positive and optimistic people tend to live healthier lifestyles. They get more physical activity, they follow a healthier diet, they don't smoke or drink alcohol to the excess. Identifying negative thinking. Are you not sure if your self-talk is positive or negative? Okay, here are some examples of negative self-talk. One category is called polarizing. 
You see things as either good or bad, and there's no in between. You are very hard on yourself, and you feel you have to be perfect. The next is filtering. You see things as negative aspects, and even filter out all the positive ones. The next is personalizing. When something bad happens, you always blame yourself. It's always your fault, no one else's. You somehow caused it. The next is catastrophizing. You automatically anticipate the very worst. You automatically believe that everything that's wrong is going to happen that day. You might start out having something bad happen in the morning, could be you spilled your coffee, um, and then you believe the whole day is, is going to go downhill because of that. So focusing on positive thinking. You can learn to turn negative thinking into positive thinking. It's not that hard to do, but it does take some time and it will take practice. Try these. First, identify areas that you need to change. First, identify what in your life, where in your life that you usually think negatively about, whether it's work, whether it's your health, your relationship. You can take small steps by focusing on one area and begin to approach it more positively. Be open to humor. Give yourself permission to smile or laugh, especially during difficult times. Seek humor in everyday happenings. Watch videos and Netflix that have laughter in them that make you laugh. When you can laugh at life, you feel less stressed. Check yourself. Throughout the day, just stop, even for a moment, pay attention to what's going on, what you're thinking about, and see where your thoughts are. If they're mostly negative, start to find a way to change it to positive, just slightly. Follow a healthy lifestyle. Try your best to do some form of exercise, maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes, three times a week, or break it down into 10 minute chunks at a time during the day. Exercise can reduce your stress and positively affect your mood. Follow a healthy diet to fuel your body and your mind. There are also techniques to learn to manage your stress as well, like yoga, meditation, listening to music, dancing, listening to audiobooks, whatever helps to reduce your stress level, do those. Use positive self-talk. Do this one thing. Don't say anything to yourself that you wouldn't say to anyone else. Be kind, be gentle, and encouraging with yourself. If a negative thought enters your mind, look at it rationally, respond with perhaps an affirmation or what, what's good about you and about things you're thankful for in your life. This isn't, this isn't difficult to do. These are easy things to change and you'll see an astounding change in your life. So here's some examples of negative talk and some examples of how you can turn it around and twist them into more positive. Number one is I've never done this before. You can change this around, this around to I will take this opportunity to learn something new. Number two is this is too difficult to I'm going to look at this from a different perspective. Number three, I don't have the resources to necessity is the mother of invention. Number four is I'm too tired to get this done. Two, I wasn't able to get this now, but I'll look over my schedule and see if I can fit it in. Number five, there's no way this is going to work. Two, change it to I will try to make it work. It's not a hard step. It doesn't mean you're going to make it work. Just a small step. I'm going to try to make it work. Number six, it's too big a change. Two, I'm willing to take a chance. Number seven is no one bothers to talk with me. Two, to change is two, I'll see if I can open the lines of communication. Number eight is I'm not going
going to get any better at this to I am willing to give it another try. So these are not huge, giant steps changing the entire world. These are small baby steps that you can start to change how you think from the negative perspective to the positive perspective. Following positive thinking every day. If you're a person who has a negative outlook, don't expect to become an optimist overnight. But if you keep working at it, if you gradually just take these baby steps, start changing even one thing a day, one thing that, that you, you think of, and you can change it around to something that's not negative, this is a good thing. If you keep working at it, and eventually your self-talk will contain a lot less self-criticism and more self-acceptance. This may help you to become less critical of the world around you. The good thing is when your state of mind is generally optimistic, you're better able to handle things every day and stress more constructively. This ability may contribute to the widely observed health benefits of positive thinking. I'm hopeful that this will be of some use to you and help in this, these difficult and troubled times right now. It doesn't take anything really to just start to change your attitude and your thinking. Even if you start just a little bit, I think you'll notice a huge difference in your life very quickly. And it will help you to feel less stressed in your everyday life. I hope this has helped you. Please keep safe. And until next time, take good care.